All right, today we're going to go over how to draw a part for our puzzle cube in Autodesk Inventor. They're basically just these simple cubes, right? They're one cube is three-fourths by three-fourths by three-fourths. So you can see, if we just draw one cube, it's three-quarters of an inch all the way around. But we're going to draw this part. This is the front view of my part. That's what I'm going to start with down here in the corner. So I'm going to go to Part. I can do it here. Or I can go up here to New and select Standard Part. Which is just quick and easy to do it right here. We have our blank screen here, our drawing screen. So we're going to go up to the upper left, click the pencil. It says Start 2D Sketch. Since I'm doing the front, I'm going to click the XY plane. And now I want to draw this shape down here. It kind of looks like this L shape, right? So I'm going to draw it sitting just like this. Okay, so it's one, two, three cubes over. So I'm going to make a rectangle. So I'm going to select rectangle. I'm going to start on the origin. I just click once and then I let go of the mouse key and drag away. Now it's three across. So I'm going to do three times 0.75. If I don't know what that is in my brain, I can just type it in. So you can see on my screen, the dark part at the top should be three times the 0.75. So I'm just going to type three times 0.75. And then I'm going to hit tab to go to the other one. And you can see it put in 2.25 for me. So it did the math for me. Now this other way, I could go all the way up, but it's not quite the rectangle. So I'm just going to draw this bottom half like it doesn't have that. I'm just going to draw the 3 by 1. So it's only 1 up, so that's just 0.75. And I hit enter. Now again, you can't really see your rectangle. So if you click the front, it'll zoom it down in on your view cube. Now we have this part, but we have to put this little extra on the top. Okay, so we're going to add that rectangle. He lives right here on the upper right corner. Since there's a corner here to start on, I'm going to start there rather than start here because I don't know exactly where 0.75 starts. So since I have this reference corner, I'm going to start there. I'm going to drag it up into the left. And this one I just want one cube wide, so 0.75. Hit the tab key, 0.75. Hit enter. And now it's made that shape for me. It's pretty much centered, but you can hit the front again, and it'll put right in the middle for you. Now that's all I can really do for that. I have my L shape, so I'm going to click Finish Sketch. I'm going to hit the house, the little home key, put it down in the center again for me, and I'm going to extrude. Extrude means we're going to give it depth. It says, what would I like to extrude? So you have to select the profile or the face. Okay, I would like that part extruded, and I would like this part extruded. It's going to extrude at a distance of 1. Remember, mine is a cube, so it's 0.75 thick. So I'm going to type 0.75 and hit enter, or you can click the OK key. And there we have that back part of our piece. If we click the house again, it'll bring it back in the center. So we basically have this, right? We just drew that piece right there. But we have this piece that was sitting on the front that we couldn't see. So we have to add another piece onto the front. This is called additive modeling. We're going to add this piece onto the front. So we're going to click on the front side. If you right click and you say new sketch, you see on this little menu here, it says new sketch at the bottom. So right click, click new sketch. And now I'm back in a sketch drawing again. I'm drawing on top of this. Okay, so my drawing sheet has stuff on it now, but that's okay. I'm going to draw right on top. So I'm going to go back to my rectangle. I want to start it in this corner because that's where it was here, right? It's in this bottom corner. So I'm going to click, drag away. I'm going to do 0.75 and 0.75 again. And now you can see that piece is sitting on the end. Again, I just need to extrude it out towards me. And I'll be done. So I'm going to finish this sketch because I'm done sketching. And now I would like to extrude. What do I want to extrude? Well, there's only one piece, so it kind of knows. Autodesk Inventor is pretty smart. It guesses, and it said last time you did a 0.75. So we're going to guess you want to do it that much again. And so it put it out there 0.75. So you just click OK. And now I have my piece. And that's really all there is to it. The last thing is, though, it's orange. And so if I want to make it orange, I can go up here to these little color wheels. Okay, If I click on the color wheel, we can go around. We, we want to select this piece that we're going to color. Okay, and we want to make him orange. And there you go. It's orange. Now, if you want to select all of it, if you hover over any edge, see how it made all the edges dashed lines? If you click on any edge, it will fill in the entire piece at once, and I'll have my orange piece. Of course, if you started in your project that we set up, all you have to do is hit File, Save, and it will save it to your Puzzle Cube project, and you're done. Okay.
and that's all there is to it.